Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Over the past couple years, I've been recording a ton of screen capture videos using Logic Pro and a handful of cameras and that kind of thing. I've had a few people ask what I'm doing or what my setup is or how I'm doing it. So this video is gonna show a tour of basically all my content creation equipment, how I have it all set up, and how I record Logic Pro in a screen capture format using OBS. So if that's interesting to you, I know I struggled to set this up like big time and there was not a ton of content on it. So if you're trying to screen record using OBS, then this video will help you with that as well. And I'll show you how I grab all the video, sync it all together in DaVinci Resolve and export a final product. Although I don't consider myself a videographer per se, I have been doing this setup for over two years probably around 250 videos. So if you are wanting to create content or level up your content, then this video is gonna be great for you. Part of the reason this video took me so long to make is I couldn't figure out how to film my setup using my setup. So I had to get another camera here. Um, I have the Osmo Action 4 as my camera, so you can see it. Um, but I'll switch over to the view on this camera to show you. But this is, I'm using the Osmo Pocket. I like it because it has a camera on a gimbal that can rotate around so I can see myself on the screen. Because when I started, I just used my iPhone and I had to like go around to the other side of the shot, make sure I liked how it was, you know, hit record, hit stop. And so I got this because I can see the screen, see myself, you know, record myself. Um, as far as my microphone and interface, I'm using a Shure SM7B. Um, and that is on this arm from Gator Frameworks. And I did a whole deep dive on <laughs> mic arms that can support the weight of this mic because this mic is really heavy and I wanted to make sure I didn't like I did, did not want that headache I hate it when like the mic stand like drifts down when you're trying to talk so that's why I eventually ended up with this one and then my audio interface for my whole studio is the SSL 12 um, and I have the SM7 going into channel one so that is as far as the setup of like external stuff. And then within OBS, I'm going to start by holding the camera and then I will switch to screen capture when I get it going. So OBS is free, just download it. It's great. Um, there's a lot to learn and set up in there. But to start, I'm gonna add a source. I'll try to show it here. Source, hit plus source. And then you want Mac OS screen capture. Um, if you're not using a Mac, I don't know what the Windows situation is, but this is what it is for me. So Mac OS screen capture, we'll just call it, that's fine, or, or test, screen cap, test cap, whatever. Uh, and add it, make source visible, hit OK. And now we have an infinite uh, window here because I'm screen recording this window. If you have multiple displays, you can switch it here. So if I switch to my other display, that is this monitor. Um, but this isn't typically where I put my logic session. So once you get that, um, there's a couple settings to configure before you hit record. So go up to OBS, uh, preferences and go to, let's see, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I have to find this every time. Go to recording and go ahead and click audio track one and two. I'm doing this now because once I hit record, you can't configure this stuff, but I record as a MP4 and I enable audio track one and two. And each one is a stereo track. So basically this MP4 is getting my screen capture video and two stereo audio tracks. One of them is the microphone. The other is playback from Logic. So just, just so you know, because I won't be able to tweak this later. So do that and then I'm going to hit start recording. And now we are actually recording the screen and I can move this over to where it normally lives. And now I'm recording this screen, which is where I put Logic. So now I'll go ahead and open up Logic. Here it is. Um, this is just so there's something to play back. And then as far as audio, I had to add a mic slash aux. So if you come in here and just add a new source, uh, audio input capture, um, that's fine. I'll just call it mic and then hit okay. And then you get a new device. And I want SSL 12, which is my audio interface, but I don't want down mixing. And then this will, you can tell it which inputs to take in there. 
So I have analog input one through four, I have talkback, I have loopback, I have all the ADATs, but I want analog one because that's where this microphone is plugged into right there, input one. So that's what that is. Channel two, I don't want anything, so I'll just hit none. And what that's gonna do, here's my new source right here, but you'll notice it is stereo. So right, stereo, it's only coming in one side. So we can come here and go to advanced audio properties and check mono. So now we've got both coming in, good to go. Um, the thing that hung me up for a long time was recording separate audio channels so that I can mix them separately within uh, DaVinci. So to do that, you have to go into advanced audio properties and check out this tracks section. Um, and this tells it which audio track to record that audio to, if that makes sense. So in the recording, I told it, give me two audio tracks. So track one, I'll have be the mic. So uncheck all these other ones. Um, th these are the same thing. So I'm just going to mute one. We don't need it. Um, let's see, advanced audio properties. Okay. So they're both going to one, but we're not doing that one. And then the test capture, which is my screen, will come down channel two. So then I'll move this back out of the way. Okay, whoop, whoop, whoop. so you can see it there. Um, so then when I hit play, now you can see it's coming in the test capture and my vocals coming in the mic. And the only other thing I do, sorry, <laughs> I forgot that was in there. Um, the only other thing I do is I pull this test capture down to minus five. And that way, you know, if logic is peaking, which this session is, uh, clipping or anything, I don't clip my MP4. Just gives me a little bit of buffer headroom right there. Um, other than that, I make sure my mic is coming in around, I don't know, minus 20 to minus 10. I go a little lower again because I don't want to clip. And, you know, there's some proximity to deal with too. Or if I get excited, I get louder. Um, you know, so just get that in a happy gain stage and then hit record like I'm doing. And that is that. Um, let's see. So when you're done, when I'm done, I hit stop recording. And then that gives me a new screen recording on my desktop. That gave me a new file right here with the date. I have this folder called YouTube Assets, and I just make a new folder for the videos. So this is how to make videos. <laughs> um, and then I'll just put all my assets in there. So I'll drop that screen capture, and you can see my infinite thing there. And then I'll take this camera right here and go ahead and turn it off. <laughs> Glad I have two cameras for this. So I'll go ahead and turn it off. Uh, stop recording. Rotate it to turn it off. I'll do a review on this if someone's interested. I really love this camera. Um, great. Now I'll pop out the SD card. Hold on. It's a two-hand operation. Okay. Tiny little micro SD here. I don't know why this camera doesn't focus. That must be a setting, but uh, you get the idea. Okay, and then got my little adapter and it goes in my dock. This video is going to be a pain to edit, I can already tell you that. <laughs> um, oh shoot, and I just realized I lost audio because I was using my mic. Well, we'll figure that out too. Um, okay, putting this in here. And then, I guess at this point I'm just on, on, uh, on the mic here. Let's just have me... Hello. Uh, different angle. Now that we've got that, I can also go to my untitled here and just navigate to the video I just made. That looks like me. That's an older one. So we'll grab this, drop it in there. And one thing I forgot to mention while this is loading, I usually do some sort of like clap for syncing and that just puts an audio spike on my mic audio and the camera audio so that I can line it up easily within DaVinci. But I didn't do that, so we'll just suffer. Great, so that's about done. So now I'm gonna open DaVinci Resolve, which is my video editor of choice. I started in Premiere, but there was just like, anytime I moved 
a video region, it like gave me the pinwheel and I was like, I can't. So the way I do this is I just open up my video from last time. And even though some of the assets might be missing, it's all still kind of there. Um, so I'll go ahead and save this as a new project. How to make videos. Um, and then I just keep like some stuff that I want. So, you know, sometimes I just clear everything out, which is what I'm going to do this time and remove all these markers. Just that way my EQ for my channel is still there and like all these tracks that I've set up are still there. Basically, I have a, a few channels here for the camera and for the screen and then like mic playback and lav. So I will go ahead and drop all that in. So I'll go to my assets folder here. I'll grab my screen recording. Drop that in and I will grab my video. And drop that in. So now is the fun part of trying to line it all up. Let me make sure I have sound. Yep, got sound. Okay. Thanks for your patience on this video in general because uh, this is hard. <laughs> okay. So let me just turn up the laugh so I can hear what's going on. Now we're getting some sound. Properties. Nope. Okay, I found similar things here. Now we're getting some sound. So right there is where I hit play and I said now we're getting some sound. So it's important when you do this that these are linked and that linking is turned on. So that way I can just drag this from a video I already did. You automatically get... This is just so there's something to that I put in. You know, you can click are actually recording the screen and I can move this over to where it normally lives and now I'm recording this screen which is where I put logic so now I'll go ahead and open up logic I'll just open up one oh, here it is um this is just so there's something to play back uh right so I'll hit play then we're getting some... okay so this is about over here all uh, right so I'll hit play so it looks like the drum beat starts right there now we're getting some sound. Not quite. Now we're getting... It's very close. <laughs> Trying to zoom this so I can see better. Here we go. Now we're getting some sound. Now we're getting some sound. And I lucked out with an update on OBS where you Great, right, so now they're synced. Right. So anything I do going forward, all this audio is lined up together. Um and so basically, once you do that, that's the hardest part. Uh it's driving me nuts. There we go. You can tell this is not my primary software. My primary software is Logic Pro. And so you can see kind of right here where I finally got it dialed in, where I have the mic coming in on one channel. Um, so then when I hit play, and then I have uh, playback on the other channel. And my vocals coming in the mic. And the only other thing I do, sorry. <laughs> and now you can see that it's all together. Um, so let me just get a short section. I'll just break that. This is, we'll just pretend like this is my whole video right here. Um, and then, oh, then I also, the screen recording is in there. So turn off linking, come here, and oh, you can't see it. Hold on. We turn off dual screen, so now you can see what's going on here. Um, so by default, you see whatever is up top. Let me put that on the camera track. But there is, if I disable that, there, my screen captures underneath. So what I need to do is just zoom out here. And I'll usually like crop this a little bit to fit me. And then just move this 
to wherever is out of the way. Sometimes I do the top, sometimes I do the bottom. Sometimes I have to move it because I talk about something <laughs> behind the screen recording. So that's basically it. And then come in here and EQ your vocal mic properly because if you don't, a bunch of people tell you it sounds bad in the comments. Um, and then once you get that good, I put an L1 limiter on the output just to make sure my whole video is not clipping and it's loud enough. Um, and hit deliver. And I don't want to dive into all the like settings and stuff, but that's the general idea. And that's it. That's how you make a screen recording video. If that was helpful, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you have any questions about OBS or DaVinci Resolve or Logic Pro or my hardware setup or the Osmo Pocket Camera or the Action 4 that I'm filming on currently, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to talk about this stuff as well. Thanks for watching and thank you for being patient because I have, I'm trying to film my setup without my setup and that's a pain in the butt. Thanks again for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe and share with your fellow content creator friends and I will see you on the next one.